213 days since the last meaningful pro football game. That's just cruel. The baseball offseason's like two weeks. With the NFL season comes Super Bowl predictions, the most worthless exercise in all of sports media. Because the Super Bowl isn't usually the best two teams in all of football, it's usually like the best team from one conference, and then another team that's just lucky to be there because Raheem Moore missed time an easy jump, and John Fox didn't have faith in the best quarterback of all time to lead a field goal drive at home. The Broncos. Listen, too much hinges on injury and chance for Super Bowl guesses to have any merit. It's just a shot in the dark to make sports fans argue about something until the season starts. It's like throwing a fish head into a flock of seagulls. That said, Broncos over Bears in Super Bowl 50. Peck away, you little rats of the sea. Things you can predict during every NFL season. Number one, Bill Belichick in that old hoodie. I'm tired of people saying he looks like a slob. The hooded sweatshirt is for people who appreciate comfort and maybe the two for $20 menu at Applebee's. I want to see Bill coach a game in a Snuggie. Two, Darren McFadden getting injured. Listen, it's not his feet or his ankles that are breaking. It's his spirit. He plays for the Raiders. It's not his fault. Three, the media just savaging the Jets. I actually get disappointed when the New York Post puts the Giants on the back cover. What can I say? I'm a sucker for foot puns. And number five, me getting super drunk during a Seahawks loss. Unless this is a year that the Seattle juggernaut goes 19-0. Woo! Go Hawks! <laughs>